Hi, everybody. All right. Today, we are working on the... Uh, so, we're, what we're doing is we're finally... We're securing the exhaust in the place where it's going to be permanently. And then, after that, we're going to take measurements, and then we're going to get the cowling out, and we're going to cut that sucker open, too, to uh, fit the exhaust out. So, <clears throat> how do you fit the exhaust? I had a choice. I'm like, okay, I've got these cam lock flanges down here. Now, I can't reposition them if I really need to. I can't really reposition them too far out farther, nor can I really put them too far in. And I can't really have that exhaust going between two of them. Because to go between two of them, um, the opening that you have to cut at the bottom of the cowling would basically span both cam locks. So you have to do it where a cam lock is. And even then, it's like, oof, you gotta be, you got to be careful because you can still cut into the area where your flange is next to it. So it was decided that the uh, most inner flange was to go. I could have brought it out and done it over the center flange. The problem is, at that point, it's really cocked to the side, and it's going to be blowing a lot more hot air out to the side, meaning on your comm antennas, your gear legs, you know. And exhaust is just going to go right on over into weird different places. So when it comes to exhaust, center is better. So that's where we're going. Plus it aligns up much better, right? Because of this trombone exhaust, the way it goes out the back, this really lines up nice and straight. The eyeball joints that make up that exhaust uh, have as much overlap as they possibly can, which is, which is important. So less chance of leaks. The real trick is just rotating it until it's um, until it's straight. Okay, so news updates uh, at Oshkosh 2022. I will not be going. I will be here flying this plane. Now, there's the ever slight outside chance that I could get the 40 hours done before the end of July. But, no. I mean, even even at that point, I mean, maybe, you know, if this was something where we were in the middle of Wisconsin, yeah, I'll fly it 40 minutes. Hell, I, if, <laughs> if I was in Wisconsin building this, getting to Oshkosh would take no time, right? But it's not. It's like, I'm just going to just say, like, you know, 14-ish hours of flying to get there in a plane that I just got done flying for 40 hours. I, I just don't know if I, if I have the stones for it. But, you know, we'll see. All right, and here we go with the cutting. So as you can see, this is one of the uh, van's older exhausts. The newer exhausts have uh, like big extruded tunnels for where the exhaust comes out more or less like, like ours is here. But since we don't have that, we've got to cut holes. Now, there's still a debate whether or not I'm going to actually <coughs> uh, retrofit this. Because I could just make a mold and, you know, do some fiberglass, you know, just like a fairing, just to, you know, give a little aerodynamic to it, aerodynamic, aerodynamisticity, but I don't know, seems like a lot of work. At this point, I just want to fly. Interesting side note, that really lightweight and awesome cowling, uh, since you can't really see it too well from the back, when you cut into that sucker like I'm doing here, you'll notice that the cross section uh, I, th I think they're using Kevlar honeycomb in it, which is really cool. Uh, I, mean, I mean, it might not be Kevlar, but it's definitely some kind of really cool composite. All right, we're going to trail this one out. In the next video, we're going to finish up the preliminary fitting of the lower cowling, and you're going to see me add something to the wall of shame. So thank you for joining me. See you soon.